Well, boys, you if you if you just missed it, man, what a national championship we just saw. We just witnessed the Maryland Terrapins complete the fourth unbeaten men's lacrosse season in the NCAA Division One. You know, fourth time that's happened, and they did it in a fight, in a dog fight that went to the bitter end, which I didn't think was going to happen. I, I really didn't think it was going to happen like that, but it happened against the Cordell Big Red and the Terrapins, you know, they they did it, you know. You know, John Tillman, Logan, Logan Snauskas and company, I mean, they, they, they did what they needed to do, which was win every game, you know, not every game was pretty. Again, this game this game was a good example of that. But Maryland has won the national championship over Cornell nine to seven. And there you go. There you have it there. Um So now our attention, you know, now that the college game is done, there there are some things, you know, that are happening in, in the college world that need to be addressed here real quick. Um, Tucker Dordovich, he's going to Georgetown. I know some other guys are going to Georgetown as well. Georgetown looking to looking look like a team that could you know maybe compete next year. I I, I haven't even thought about next season yet. So we got a long way until that. We got a long nine months to go until the college season begins once again, or however long it yeah, but like about eight nine months until the college season gets going again. Um, Conference realignment, that's been confirmed completely now. Of the eight heads got their six, UMass, St. Bonnie's, St. Joe's, Richmond, Hobart, and High Point. Um, those are the six teams of the eight head. I thought Fairfield or was going to join, but that, you know, a lot of people thought that Fairfield was going to join, but they're not. Um, and then uh, Log Island, Sacred Heart, and Wagner are going to join the, uh, the Metro Atlantic. You know, the Mac for a couple of seasons. Merrimac, they're going to be left with no home. And for the time being, you know, Merrimac will be an independent. Um, so the Mac will have 10. Queens, remember, Queens moved up to Division One, So the A Sun will have 10. So we're going to have nine, you know, auto bids next year. And eight at large, so that'll be 17 teams making the NCAA tournament next season. I wish, you know, I wish there'd be, you know, even less conferences so we could get more at large teams in, but, you know, like actually less conferences. Not, I'm not talking like, you know, I'm not talking like, you know, like, you know, teams gotta, you know, just try and band together, but it's neither here nor there. So, you know, the college game, again, it's been a great season. I'm glad to have been here to watch the college game for the, really, the first season following. Like, this is my first season following. I've, followed, I've watched some college across in the past, but first full season, witnessing an unbeaten, you know, a dominant Maryland team. And I got to tell you, it was fun from beginning to end, from February all the way up to now, to Memorial Day. Been a fun season. Cannot wait for next season. Uh, I'll be back, you know, you know, talking college cross in February, probably like next February or whatever. Um, so, you know, wait until then, guys. Uh, you know, if y'all want some college, you know, goodness for me. Um, in the NLL, the conference finals were uh, about as fun and crazy as you might have expected. Colorado got San Diego game one. Dane Dobby, you know, or Dane Doby, excuse me, you know, had a crazy goal in the second game to force a green, uh, game three. But, you know, Liger McLaughlin, Eli McLaughlin, you know, got the Mammoth in a good position in a furious second half. And the Colorado Mammoth are going to be taking on the Buffalo Bandits who, Played Toronto, who played Toronto in the Eastern um, Conference Finals, the Eastern Division Finals, and, you know, that was a good, good series there. Buffalo still won. Dane Smith had a nice performance in the in those two games there. So it'll be Buffalo and Colorado. 
Uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, we'll talk about this when we get to when we cover the PLL here in a minute, you know, but a lot of guys from Buffalo and Colorado are not going to be in the PLL for the first couple weeks of the season. So, June 4th, June 11th, and June 18th are the dates for the NLL Finals, the best of three series. Cannot wait for this. Um, get your ESPN Plus subscription right now if you haven't already. And speaking of ESPN, they got the World Lacrosse Championships. So, you know, uh, they got the men's and the women's, you know, World Lacrosse Championships. So, you know, everything lacrosse, you know, is under ESPN's umbrella now. As it should be, you know, mostly everything, you know, there's still like some outliers like the Big East, you know, having, you know, the Big East, uh, you know, network, you know, and really that's Fox and Flow Sports for whatever reason, and then you got, you know, the Big Ten having the Big Ten network, so, you know, still got to deal with Fox for some of those, you know, Big Ten, you know, Big Ten, Big East games, and then, you know, other conferences don't really, you know, other conferences don't really have much in the way of deals, as far as I can tell, with ESPN yet. You know, I'm talking about college here for a second. You know, you know it is what it is. So ESPN, year-round home of lacrosse. And speaking of, you know, the year-round home of lacrosse, the PLL begins this Saturday, and the PLL draft was insane. Towards an award, the likely towards an award winner, Logos Wisnowskis went number one to the Chrome. Um, Brandon Nick Turn also was picked up by the Chrome. Chris Gray went to the Atlas at number two. They also got Brendan Curry. That's a big pickup there. Matt Moore went to the Archers. Brett Dobson was also a big pickup for the Archers. Asher Nolting, he went to the Cannons, and a lot of people say that the Red Ones won this draft, and a lot of people are picking the Red Ones to win the title, and I am inclined to agree. I, I think, you know, I think there's a lot of depth with this Red Woods team, you know, at, at, you know, like, there, there's just a lot with this team, you know, that goes into it, and I think, you know, I think the Red Woods have what it takes. I'm not sure about the Wit Snakes. And I don't think the chaos are going to be able to do it. I don't. I don't. I don't think you know the way things have been going. You know, with the NLL, you know, having the finals and stuff like that. You know, I don't think. I don't think the chaos are going to repeat this year. I think. I think we should, we should have been a new champion last year with my Water Dogs, but uh, no, that was not the case. In the, in the four and the five seeds, you know, met in the championship last season. You know, you know, it, it, it was a stacked, stacked. You know, season last year, in which every, in which everybody could win at any time, and this year could prove to be even more unpredictable for the PLL as they enter their fourth season. And you know, the, you know, the, there's going to be some pushback on this, and I am one of those people that also kind of push back on it because it, it's not the fact that it's six; it's just the fact that it has anything to do with the Olympics. I I am not an Olympics guy. I hate the Olympics. I do not care for the Olympics at all. But the PLL has, you know, they're going to do a tournament with the top four teams, you know, the championship series in February 2023. More ESPN inventory there. You know, it's Olympic style sixes again. I don't like the Olympics. I don't. I don't really care for sixes. It's, you know, it's. It, it's different, but I mean, I've never seen it in action, so what do I know? It's just the fact that the Olympics are branded onto it. That's why I don't like it. It's not the fact that it's sixes. I I personally could care less what kind of lacrosse game we're playing. If we're playing, you know, with wacky inflatable tubes, then I'm, I'm down. I'm down for it. But the fact that, you know, it's it has the Olympics tied to it, you know, because the Olympics are straight up doo-doo. They're straight up garbage. I do not like the Olympics at all. Uh, but this tournament does hurt a couple leagues like the WLA, the MLS, uh, the MSL, excuse me. Like Randy Stats isn't even playing this year in the PLL. He's, I believe he's either going to the MSL or the LA. I'm not sure which one I thought. I can't remember which one off the top of my head because I know he's. I know he said he was going to go. I believe he said the MSL. But this is going to be more of toward. But this type of tournament, the championship series is going to be more geared towards the younger players. 
you know, younger players that haven't had as much opportunities and stuff like that. I'm not going to watch this tournament because I'm going to be, you know, dialed into NLL and College Cross by this time because it's not going to hurt the NLL at all. It's It really won't. But like, younger players that need a chance, I, I, this will help them immensely. So, uh, there, there you go. Um, congratulations also to North Carolina, the women's, you know, D1 team and all the other you know, D2, D3 teams that won their national championships um, this Memorial Day weekend. You know, I, I you know, I, I did not see the uh, the North Carolina Boston College game. And remember, I watched one <laughs> women's game this year, and I was, you know, I was both impressed and confused, and that's why I was like, no, I, I, do, I do not want to watch this anymore. So. Um, but if you but if you watched you know the women's game yesterday on ESPN, congrats to you. You 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 guys you guys got a good one. We got a good one today too in the on the men's side. Um, and again, you know it's gonna be one of those seasons you know where I think we're gonna have to think back and think of Maryland as one of the all-time greats. And it it is what it is, man. Like. You know, this is a this was a team that I started to see from the Maryland Virginia game, you know, back in March at Audi Field, and they just looked dominant for most of the entire season for the rest of the way, and it it just it, it they were just that good. I mean, the NCAA tournament delivered as well. Like, you know, despite the fact that I was you know not completely. You know, alive all the time. I, like I felt like I was, you know, dead sleep half the time. You know, but I mean, tournament delivered. Cannot wait to talk college lacrosse with you next year, and I'll come back with more lacrosse content. And eat on either June the 11th or June the 18th. It'll be you know on or around that date. You know it. it it depends on when the NLL finals will end. We'll talk the first couple weeks of the PLL season. We'll talk, you know, who won the NLL finals, who won the NLL championship, and everything like that. And we'll just get some, you know, more stuff on here. But until then, I will see you all later on today. We got we got a triple header coming. It's supposed it's supposed to be a double header, but now you know it's been changed back to a triple header. So we'll see you all very soon. Take care, and you know, have a good one.